Okay, it is beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is an American beer sent by L.J. Ashcroft. And it's my first beer from the Trogues Brewery. Nice bottle cap. And it's a hot back amber ale. Coming in at 6% ABV. I've heard a lot of good things about Trogues. So I'm looking forward to this one. In a glass. Ooh, I was just about to say looks like, but I can already see exactly what that looks like. Exactly what it says in the bottle, really. It's a really good deep amber ale. Bit of dark malt they used to give it that right, really nice amber colour. I imagine, I might be wrong, it might be just a a different malt they use. Okay, so it is a more or less a two finger head. It's off white, creamy, loads of carbonation, loads of carbonation. Look at that, really is fizzing away nicely. It's got a nose then. Yes, um, there is just something about this style of beer which I absolutely love. Um, it's, I think it's the level of hops. I think it's a nice level of hops. It's a, it's a certain kind of beer that I look to session. A good amber ale with loads of flavour. Um, judging by this nose, this really nice hoppy and sweet nose, then it's going to be right up my street. So cheers everyone, cheers LJ. Oh. I've had a couple of recommendations for this on YouTube. A couple of people have been um, put in the comments box in some of my American beers. Please do the um, the Troves and the Hotback Amber Ale, and I am so glad I have um, chosen to review this today. Okay, so. First up is very, very quickly a sweet malt. That gets taken away by a, a complete tidal wave of lovely hot bitterness. It's juicy, it's fruity, and it's very bitter on the back end. It's, it's really, really pulling now, right on the back end. Oh, that is, that's lovely, really nice. I can see, as I just mentioned, um, right, these people are from Hershey in, is it PA? Is that Pennsylvania? I'm not sure, hopefully it is, I think it is. And me. Okay, so, washing the beer back and forth. Showing the lovely condition of the beer. How it looks in the glass. Let's get another deep nose by releasing some of these aromas. Now I've drunk some of the beer. And it just really releases it in abundance. It really does give you that big kind of turbo boost of um, of juicy hops. I'm just getting juicy, fruity hops. I think it helps. It's because it, there's a really nice balance with the with the malt, the sweet malt. It's really do. It, obviously, it is more balanced to be in a hobby beer, but there's certainly. The hops are, you know, it's giving it a good go, even though it's, it's, it's a bit like this. <sighs> Fantastic. So, about the mouthfeel then. It's not a thick and cloyny kind of beer. It's, I'd say it's a medium mouthfeel. It is... A nice kind of velvety consistency to the beer but it's not huge which I prefer it's still leaning towards being a refreshing beer all that carbonation in the beer I 
you can feel it bouncing on your tongue and it pushes the beer around your mouth and it helps to release more of the aromas. That mouthful was a lovely... After the first few tastes you get more of the malt because you, 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 your palate's blasted by the hops towards the, the middle and the end. So you get a little bit of the malt up front but then as you gradually your palate gets used to the amount of hops that are in these, this style of beer you can certainly then focus your mind on the hop, on, on the malt balance that's certainly in this drink and it's, it's lovely, it's a lovely sweet malt taste but it's jam packed full of American hops, it really is um, it's a style that I personally love one of my favourites. This is an absolutely wonderful beer. I've probably said it four times, but I really don't mind. I'll say it another four times. Um, each batch of hopback amber ale flows through a bed of whole flower hops, creating a fresh aroma, spicy taste, and rich caramel note that defines our signature beer. So, it's a fresh hop. It's a fresh hop beer. Awesome. Come visit that brewery, go to www.trogues.com for tour information. Cheers, Chris and John. Okay. Yeah, be sure. Check out the website there. Be sure to check these guys out. If I can get it to focus. There you go. Check out that website. Order some more of their beers. If you haven't tried this, if you're in America, you can get this regularly in America, I imagine, in the area. Go and get it now. It's well worth the shot. Um, thanks for watching me. Let's give it a quick rating. For me then, for a 6% beer, it's quite dangerous. It's quite dangerous. I would be able to slide three or four of these down in the space of probably 25 minutes. Um, not knowing that it was 6%. So... Bing bang, after, after 45 minutes I'd be, woof, you know, enjoying the beer, enjoying the, um, the benefits of beer. Um, I think it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It's got a nice balance, it's full of hoppy, juicy, mango, kind of tropical fruit flavours. It's balanced by the, the, the malt, it's a lovely sweet malt. It's got a nice medium mouthfeel. The carbonation does wonders for the beer. It's held its head all the way down. Really has. It's a gorgeous looking beer in the glass. It's nice and clear. For, so for all them reasons, I'm going to give this a big 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Um, I always get excited by American beer. It's just, it's just a market leader for me. It really is a market leader um, for showing craft beer to the world. I think this from the craft beer scene in America it's moved on to Italy and Spain and the UK and it's just spreading all over the world so good on you guys keep up the good work thanks for watching me and cheers